Hello people, this is Mark from Color Change Works. Guys, I hope that you're well. In this video, we are going to talk about a covert survival toolkit. Myself and Laura discussed this uh, a few days ago and she's going to make 50% of the videos. I'm going to make 50% of the videos and together we hope that the topics we discuss will be um, effective in helping you not only survive this COVID lockdown bit in the world at the minute, but also to build a resilience against any kind of difficulty that you might face. Some of the issues that we're going to be talking about is going to be of a spiritual nature, and I make no excuses for that. However, we are looking at fundamentals for survival in difficult situations, particularly considering the lockdown. Now, in some ways, I'm a bit sad that we haven't done this earlier, but uh, you know what they say, strike while the iron is hot. And while we thought about this um, only literally two or three days ago, we decided the topics and who's going to do what. So... In this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, appreciation of your friends and family. Now, I'll say right from the outset that uh, last week, I heard the sad news that a friend of mine has sadly passed away um, three weeks Prior my notification that I received from the social services in Stoke-on-Trent. And it kind of made me wonder, you know, why is it that people remember you when you're dead? They, they remember you on your funeral as the fantastic brother, the, the bestest dad, you know, the so-and-so's mom, you know, you're the world's most amazing brother or sister or whatever the case might be. But when you're alive, how often is it that you hardly even get a mention? But when you're dead, all of a sudden, you're the best ever. And... It saddens me because even in my own family, when I consider the appreciation and the love that I've got, particularly for my kids, my eldest doesn't even want to talk to me. It is as if I don't even exist in her life, except when she wants something. Not necessarily needs it, but when she wants something, she's on the phone immediately. Dad, can you? I love you so much. But after that, there's silence. And it hurts. And it made me wonder, in lockdown, how many of us, how many of you do you know who's loved, uh, who loves your family, but who's also lost a loved one? It might be your husband, your wife, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your auntie, whatever the case might be, a, f a family friend, someone that you've known since school, who knows. And what I want to say in, at this point in time is appreciate people while they're alive. While they're breathing, while they have influence, while they have something to say. Appreciate them, because when they're dead, they're dead for a very long time. In fact, that's not the time to remember them. You've got to remember and appreciate them while they're alive. And when you go to their funeral, that's the time that you celebrate the fact that you've known them. So whilst you alive... And you've got friends and family and, you know, connections like that. Make time to make memories. Make time to have fun times. Spend silly times together, even if it's playing games or uh, going out for walks and these kind of things. I, 
on another side one of my computer hard drives failed a, a couple of months or so ago and I had loads of pictures of the kids on there and they now gone and I'm now in the process of taking new photos of the kids luckily I've got some of those on another hard drive and I can still reminisce about the better times in my family when we were still a family please you only live once do everything in your capability to remember and appreciate and build connections to those who mean the most to you why am I saying this because when lockdown finishes eventually the people who you've been in contact with all the time you might have albeit that you might have been in an enclosure been in a house somewhere stuck you might have grown apart because you were too close physically to each other and what I'm saying is yes there's importance in getting closer together physically but it's a far more important thing to go closer emotionally and grow closer psychologically and grow closer spiritually grow close in your knowledge of the other person with the other person and because of the other person so when lockdown finishes you can still remain close if not closer because of time spent together see we, we spend time together and we don't talk we don't communicate we we don't exchange ideas we've become a, a society where things are okay to be superficial shallow narrow and what a sad thing it is if families are superficial narrow shallow sad thing and i'm going to encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and start doing other things to build a strong connection with those nearest and dearest to you that's all i want to say you only live once do everything you can to truly get to know the people in your life might be uncomfortable in the beginning absolutely is it worthwhile bet your bottom dollar on it that's all i want to say for this survival kit make the most of your friends and family whilst they are alive I hope this video has spurred you on to rekindle your relationships with your nearest and dearest and other people who are important in your life. If it has, please put it in the comments in the comment section. And also, beyond all that, do the YouTube admin, the sharing, the subscribing. Get all your friends and family to share and subscribe. As you've noticed, this channel has loads and loads and loads of wonderful information and trust me there's much more to come let's build a tough strong community let's build some resilience in our lives this is what this channel is all about but for now this is mark from color strange works and i'll speak to you soon